All right. <laughs> uh, it should be obvious we're doing Zato's theme today. Um, we're going to be doing uh, let carve, Let's Carve Your Way or whatever it's called. Uh, I'll look at it in a second. I'll pull up the video. But uh, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at Zato's theme. Um, Feel of Fear is still my favorite one. I don't know Black Blank uh, very well. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, Feel of Fear is one of my favorite songs. Super cool sounding. Very, uh, very creepy and uh, dissonant. Very cool riffing going on in that song. But we're going to be taking a look at Let Me Carve Your Way. That's what it's called. All right. So uh, get it pulled up and um, we're going to get right into it. But I'm going to take a guess and say that it's probably not in E flat. It's not a half step down like um, Feel of Fear is. Feel of Fear is half step. If you don't know what that means... It just means that this is uh this is your E major. Right? This is what standard tuning would sound like if you played an E. This is what it sound this is what an E sounds like in a half step down, or E flat as it's called. So we're just taking the sound and dropping it down a half step. But I feel like this one isn't gonna be in it. So uh let's go ahead and let's just take a listen. Okay, so yeah, I was right. It's actually gonna be in a... It's actually gonna be on a 7-string. I'm gonna go and grab one, so I'll show you guys right now what I'm talking about. So, let me switch guitars, and we will be right back. Alright, so here we are. So, let's go ahead and let's play it from the beginning. Okay, so this one I'm going to put on my headphones. <laughs> Can't really hear it so well in my uh, regular um, studio monitor, so... But we know that this is the first chord. Right? Let's see if we can figure this out. Okay, so we know what this first part is, or at least I think it is. It's a... Alright, let's uh... All right, and then we got this next part. Let me hear what this is. Okay. Okay, before before we go any further, uh it, I think it's probably something like that. Let me check. Yeah, it's something like that. Something like that. Okay. So then we got like a really thrashy riff, which is really cool sounding. I like this. It's a uh, something like that. It's very uh, it's very kind of like old school thrash, except it's on a seven string. All 
but... God, there's there's so many changes right now going on. <laughs> Holy shit. We're we're like 37 seconds in and we've gone from from that to like Something like that, and then, uh, we have, like, a little... Uh, some chord that he's playing there. We've got, like, five different changes in the rhythm already. It's, that's pretty cool. Let's... Let's back it up to this part, because now we got... Now we got this, like, uh, gallop... Da -da 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 -da. Ooh. Ooh. I like this. Okay. Before we get to the, uh, that chorus part... Probably something like that. God, this is uh this is a very intricate piece. Yeah, we're getting a lot of, uh... So, we're getting stuff like that, which is very nice. Uh, I'd actually have to sit down with this and learn. It's, uh, I can kind of pick out bits and pieces of what's going on. But, so far, it's, uh, it's pretty intricate, to be honest. All right, and then there's the part that's really weird sounding. I believe that's the chords. And then it goes back in that same kind of uh, thing before at the beginning, but um, let's see. Because it's this part that I want to hear. Something like that. The yeah, so. Assault. Oh, 
Like that's what it sounded like to me, which is uh, very cool. Now we're back to the thrashy part. God, I'm having... Let me back that up. That, that was sloppy. Alright, now we're in like some anthrax sounding stuff. Okay. Very cool sounding we got. Something like that is uh... Very good. I like it. I like it. And then we got this new part coming up. I think. And then we're back to the beginning. Okay. Ooh, we got some. Okay, now we got... This is like overkill. This is like overkill thrash. I like the song structure. Song structure is really, really good. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. I was have some sweet memories. It will remain all <laughs> He did Queen. It's Queen again. Oh my god. It's it's fucking Queen. <laughs> he had to put a Bohemian Rhapsody moment in this. It's it's kinda like Bohemian. It, you know, like you get the slow piano part. It's like how we did the what am I part and smell the game? Hang on. Hang on.
I like this part. <laughs> that it oh wow that's it that's really it that was such a cool part like it's so obvious this this guy really loves queen that dice cage is so influenced by queen but i really like that part it's just Yeah, I'm not playing uh, the Bohemian solo exactly, but it fits, right? It sounds like it's that that part of the song. At least that's what it's reminding me of, right? Like the piano part, and yeah, no, that's that's really cool. Let me listen to that again. Let's go back. And then right here, it's just like... Yeah, that's super cool. What uh what was up with the previews? Okay, what was up with the previews of each song? Because they gave us just the weird part, the the talking uh the, the sing talk part instead of giving us like you got the whoa part the That part was cool, but then we got the That part was also cool, because I'm not- I didn't dig the vocals. It got done very, very dirty. I'm not gonna lie, because this song as a whole is so cool sounding. Like, this- this fucking, uh... Like, you've got a lot of riffs that sound like Zato. It sounds so somewhat creepy. You got, like, these little dissonant, like... You got little, like, weird chromatic stuff going on. Just in general, it's really good sounding. It's thrashy, but then again, I mean, it kind of fits, especially with the chords that he's going for. This real heavy... And then it gets, uh... It gets, I guess countered by the last part as well as the da -da 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 -da. that part yeah no the part that happens before the sing talking part yeah no fantastic arrangement like i didn't know this was one of those songs where i thought it was not going to really fit so well but like the previews didn't really do uh the song a lot of justice and the full version sounds a lot better Six minute song though, you're never gonna hear that fucking queen part, I guarantee you, and that's the best part of the song. That little, like, queen-ish moment that he has in like the last minute of the song, that's, that's, that's the best part. That is my favorite part. I love it. And it just, it kind of fits. Like, it kind of, it kind of actually really works. <laughs> 
I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's, it's really good. I like it. In fact, I'm going to go and uh, back it up and fucking listen to it again without playing. It's so cool because it just fades out. Okay. How can I remember those moments, sweetheart? Tell me, tell me, tell me. If a man who can make a man, give me the tools to play. It's almost like Raven's theme, how it has that break in the middle, except this is at the end. Yeah. No doubt that this is, uh, this is the highlight, uh, of the song. It's very good. Like, holy shit. I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, huh? You know, if anything, I think Daisuke put in a lot of work into a lot of these songs. To come up, to, to, to write parts like that, especially, like, the one thing that he's always done is usually it's pretty straightforward. You have your normal song structure. But in a lot of these songs, there's a lot of, there is repeating parts, but there's a lot of intricate guitar work going on in here. Um, just in the, like I said, like the first, like a minute, like a minute in the first minute alone, there is so much good guitar work going on. And uh, kudos to who actually recorded the guitar. I don't, I don't think Daisuke records the guitars anymore. I think he just writes the parts out. And then uh, the uh, Arc System Works in-house band, the uh, Ash, actually does all the recording. And uh, yeah, that's, that's some good, that's some good ass work that they're doing. That is some hard shit <laughs> to uh, practice, write, and record. So hats off to them. This is a very good song. I really like it. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, we've been going on for a little bit longer. But yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing Melia's next since I did Zato. Zato, Melia. And I have to do it next. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, then, you know, go ahead and do what you do. And uh, comment down below. You know, there's a description uh, with the giveaway and how you can support the channel. We've got, you know, Teespring, we got the uh, rollback t-shirt in. That's one of the things that you can buy on there. Uh, coldest water bottle is another thing that I've been um, sponsoring. I like this thing. I actually do. <laughs> I've been, this is what I've been using since I, since I got this thing in. And, uh, you know, there's uh, Patreon where this stuff does go up a day before it uh, premieres here. So if you want to um, see this a day early with no ads and all that stuff, then uh, you can go on Patreon. It's just a dollar a month. I only ever charge for one video a month. And um, yeah, this stuff will get previewed about a day before uh, it goes live here. And uh, then there's Twitch. If you want to subscribe to Twitch or just follow on there, when I do get back to streaming on there, I'm trying to acclimate to uh, doing my videos again on this channel. And you guys have been insane. The uh, preview reaction video has gotten like, it's over 20,000 at this point. Uh, I've seen a ton of growth with the channel. We got, we're, we're almost at 29,000. I was at like 28,000 at the beginning of the month. That's nuts, you guys. You're, you're all awesome. So thank you for supporting the channel and supporting me coming back after being gone for so long. Or just not posting videos really for the last year and a half. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Just check everything down in the description and then comment whatever you want to comment. You know, what you think of the song, what you think of the rest of the soundtrack. Just uh, 
I do read the comments, you know, I'll like them and respond to them when I can. So, yeah. Uh, take it easy, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.